here in the wild, amongst Asian deer, on another science in action investigation. It's the Howie. In the wild, deer like these are part of a food chain that has tigers at the top and grass at the bottom. But in eating a deer, a tiger would only get 10% of the energy the deer had consumed. It's the same for all animals. So where does the rest of that energy go? Grabs up, deer! So that's the question. What happens to the missing 90%? Feeding's not all about taking in energy. Whilst these deer get their food delivered, in the wild, they'd have to use energy looking for it. Then there's the process of eating. Chewing the food takes energy, and so does digesting it. And no one knows better than the Howie that the undigested food ends up as... Done. So feeding is the first thing to use some of the 90% energy that's not available to the next level. And so the Howie moves on stopping only for a small drink. And here's another way that animals use energy. Breathing. The muscles an animal uses to breathe are working all the time, and that takes energy. Breathing means the body can use oxygen in the air to release energy stored in the food that's eaten. This process of energy transfer is called respiration. The second energy use, then, respiration. Actually, um, all this water has made me want to, uh, you know, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> oh, another way that animals use energy is through excretion. Excretion is the way the body gets rid of things it's produced, like through sweating or Breathing out, or having a wee. Excuse me. So another energy use is excretion. But what about the clatter of tiny hooves? Reproduction takes a lot of energy. The animals mate, the mother has to provide enough energy for the baby to grow inside her. Then, after birth, the youngster's got a lot of growing to do, and it needs looking after. So reproduction needs energy and so does growing. Animals use energy all the time for living and responding to what's going on around them. And when it comes to surviving, they really have to move. So finally, responding and moving. They got away. But not all of them do. And the tiger needs that energy, even if it is just 10% of what the deer had. So there's the available 10% of the energy, and the missing 90% goes on the life processes, the things that living is all about for all animals. 